Hello everybody, welcome back. I know y'all just watched the previous video, hopefully, of the best budget cards for the double tech players. So, these are what I would say are the best. We have Hido Turkaloo, or Hido Turkaloo. We got Hakeem, The Dream, and we got the Mailman Car Malone. Let's get right into this. I kind of lied, I didn't know who I was going to put in at the third position. Hido and Hakeem Olajuwon. Straight made it, no matter what. There are some pink diamonds, and I'll talk about them, and I'll even show them at the end of the video. But I'll also show their price. If they're going for, like, under 100k, I'll get them. My rule is, if they're more than 100k, I really don't need them. Unless it's Melo or somebody that I really like. Like a Lonzo card. Because Lonzo's just cool. So, might as well start with Hidu. Hidu is nice. His defensively, he's, he's really not bad. He can get you steals. He'll hit threes for absolutely no reason. Doesn't really matter if he's covered or not. Yeah, and I miss. But he's a good card. Really good card. And for his price, he's a god tier. Like, you can't get better than he did. He can play good defense. He's a small forward, power forward. So, he's a double position player where if you wanted to, you could put him on the same line as Ingram and have him guard Ingram. He's really tall. He'll do a good job. Offensively, come on, man. You already saw him make two threes. Like, he's a shooter. He's open. He's making it. It's, there's nothing else I got to say about the man. But, I don't know. The only thing I haven't really tested out for him is his dribbles. And they're actually kind of nice. Overall, this card's a 10 out of 10. If you don't get him, you're not smart. You're not a smart player. This card is nice. There's AK-47 who's like him. Uh, what was it? Uh, Kirilenko. But Kirilenko, I wouldn't... I don't like his jump shot as much. And he can't dribble for anything. Turkulu is the better version of Kirilenko. And I'll, I'll show you the comparison. They're like pretty much the same player. Except for... <laughs> Turkle is a million times better. So, who are we going to talk about next? Malone or Elijah Wan? All right, let's talk about Malone. Malone almost didn't make this team. He was my questionable player. And it wasn't even questionable about did I want to choose him or not. It was how much he costs to do I think the value of that is reasonable. Uh, kind of, but kind of not. And not. I'll tell you once we finish the game why I don't think it's that reasonable. But it's not like he's bad. He's extremely fun. He's going to do that. His ratings are good enough that he could make a three. It's not that he's going to like Turkaloo, but he can. If you're like getting left open and you're okay with missing once or twice. But the man's a god. Like, I just played a game before I recorded the video. My first video of the day. And he had two snatch blocks. Like, not like I got the block. Like, he caught it block. Which I think is nonsense. And his dribbling is kind of a little um, god tier. And I mean, you can get him to do post stuff. You can get him really to do whatever you want. So, I kind of... Mm, I do recommend this card. If you like Karl Malone... Especially if you're like a Knicks, I mean not a Knicks fan, a Lakers fan, a Utah Jazz fan. He'll be perfect for your team. If you just like that 4 slash 5 who can kind of shoot and play defense, he, is, he does feel kind of undersized and I don't know why. I think he's, he might be 6'7 or 6'9 or something. Or 6'8. To me, he just feels undersized. But would he make my god squad? Probably not. I, I think I have two pink diamonds that could slot there. But, would I, would I go out of my way to use him? Yes. He's the, he, he, he's nice. I ain't never going to front and be like, no, he's garbage. So, overall, Carmelo's great. Now, Elijah Wan, Elijah Wan was, I didn't even need to play with him to know he was going to make some of the best cards in this pack. So, Elijah Wan is bigger than big. He can't really dribble, but he plays amazing defense because of his size. I think he's 7'1", 7'2". So, he's kind of like Shaq, but faster. 
which is my biggest gripe about Shaq, is he's slower than slow. If you need anything done with Elijah Wan, which I, I know I'm not really showing much of it, but it's hard to show something when they're not specifically going at him. I mean, Odin is strong, and I'm pushing him back. Uh, I don't like showing my post moves because I don't... It's not... I don't know. The last year I liked the post moves was like 2K15. And uh, we're on 2K21, so it's it's been a couple years since I liked the dribble moves. You can get just about anything you want with Elijah on. His mid-range is good enough. I wouldn't really shoot a three with him. I don't know. Next time we go down core, I'll let him touch it just so I can see what the rating is. There might be a chance that he might even make a three, which would make him extreme god tier. Especially if you're playing unlimited. I mean, there are better centers that are pink diamonds. But, I don't know. I like Elijah Wan. His price is a little pricey. I don't want to say any other prices till the end. Now, remember, any price that I say is PC pricing. It's not PlayStation. It's not Xbox. Oh, this dude is an A-. minus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a full recommendation. I don't give anything about his price. You need to pick him up. That's what I'm saying now. Get him today. Oh, looking like a goofball. Guard him up. Guard him up. Scare him. Darn. Let's see if Turkaloo can go down and hit a stupid three that he shouldn't even be making. Let me just do my same shot that I've done a million times. Oh, that was garbage. No, we're going to do it again. We're literally going to run it back. <laughs> do you see why I tell you to get Elijah on? And to get Hidu. Hidu is nice. The man is gods here. And his price is ridiculous. And ridiculous isn't good. So, let's see if we get the diamond play. If we get the, the pink diamond, the new one, off of this pack, that's a good sign. Because I got that diamond player that was on the last one when I was recording a video. Which is good, because it's always good to be like, oh yeah, you see, I got this when you guys are watching. No, I didn't get it this time. I know I'm going to do a Christmas opening, and I might like pre-record a couple videos too. So, out of all these... Like, these cards all cost a little bit different. Turkaloo is 2500 on PC. Malone is 27 k And Hakeem is 23 I mean, 32 k So, the player I was going to pick over Malone was Sean Kemp, who is a very similar card. I mean, he, Kemp is taller, but his defense just isn't as solid. If you look, he's got a better mid. Like, his inside stuff isn't as good. Because, you know, the mailman is good in the post. And the dunking doesn't feel any different. You're not really going to be passing much with either of them. And everything in Malone's is better defensively and it's rebounding. You can tell when you have the ball in Kemp's hands that he can actually do something with the ball. Like Malone, you, he can do dribble moves, but you're not going to really try anything. The speed, I mean, the strength difference you can tell. And the fact that Sean Kemp's less than 2,500 MT, that's pretty pretty impressive for what you can get. You're going to get a significantly cheaper card with similar but not the same stats. Like, you're not getting a post god out of Kemp, but you are going to get a dunk god. I also said I was going to do a comparison with Turkaloo and AK-47. Andrea Karolenko! So you see... 6'9", 6'10". They can play literally the same position. Power forward, small forward. You look... I mean... <laughs> their post is very similar, except for one's post moves is higher, but who cares about your post moves? Cause you're not really going to be doing very many of them. The shooting and everything is way better for Turkaloo, which is weird because Kirilenko is known as a sniper. The free throw being better and... Turkaloo's uh, overall dunking being significantly better. His ball handling, his pass IQ is higher. Uh, defensive stats, it says uh, Kirilenko's better, but I beg to differ. The stealing is true. You can definitely feel that. That is 100% true. 
I think Kirilenko's defense is just trash. His rebounding really doesn't matter. He's, he feels so slow. Like, Turkoglu feels like I can make shots, and Kirilenko feels like I can't. And Kirilenko is probably, he might be extinct for you, but I don't know if I can even buy him now myself. I know I would recommend Turkoglu over Kirilenko, because this Turkoglu card is godly. If I had to take, like, a diamond, I wouldn't take Brandon Ingram. I would take Carmelo. I would say 50% of the time because Carmelo does feel lacking on defense. But offensively, I just like Carmelo more. And Pink Diamond, I mean, obviously, I'm going to take the Pink Diamond over anybody every time. I got the Jamal Crawford card. I don't think I'm going to do a review on it because I'm just going to tell you, get it if you can. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing I wanted to look at. I literally bought these cards today. It was a T-Mac and AI card. I got Allen Iverson for 900 and T-Mac for 1,000, flip them both for 15. So as you can see, Dwight Howard's going for 900K. Derrick Rose is going for 700K. Don't ask why I don't have some of these cards. I just don't. There are some new Season of Giving cards that just came out. So, I will be doing a review. I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow. I might do it on Wednesday. It might be out on Wednesday just so the price can drop a little bit. So, I can do a review on those. That way, I can tell you, oh, are the new Season of Giving cards any good? I'm not going to lie. I'm not getting any of these cards. That card was going for over a million. There's one for 1.2. 500K. 500, it's almost 600K. 600K. This guy's probably going for a mil. 800K. I don't get a lot of these cards because I physically don't want to spend that money. I don't have it. It's just, it's not happening. So, come back for the next video. I may do a season of giving on Wednesday. I don't know. I'll have to see what comes out on Tuesday. And then if something else comes out on Tuesday, I'll put out the, I'll do a review on that for Friday. I don't know. I just don't know. I might put out a video on Wednesday. It might be on Friday. Who, who knows? The packs that have been getting put out have been put out weird. So come back for the next one. Peace.